I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on exactly how to use it when you get it home. First thing you notice is I pick up the sides here. That releases the top lid. And inside you're going to find your handles. You'll have your extra mop pads and the mop plate. Basically all you have to do is just open this up, pull that out of the bag, put that aside. Take your handle, pop that open real quick, and there should be four pieces. One, two, three, and four. Just take note that the bottom piece will have a thread that's different than the other pieces because the bottom piece will thread into the mop plate itself. These will not screw in. It's not designed that way. So the one with that tip screws right in. Make it until it's hand tight and you're good to go. Grab any of the center pieces, pop that in, give it a little spin, pop the next one in. And of course, the one that goes on the end is the one with the foam. Pop that in until you're hand tight and you're good to go. Now you have your mop assembled. It should come with the pad already attached in case it does not or in case you ever have to re uh, replace it. Notice there is a button over here on the top of your mop plate. You push that down and that will release the mop plate and give it enough leverage or enough slack that you could actually unhook it. Now, notice on the bottom of these mop plates, there's three tabs, one, two, three on this side and one, two, three on this side. This side that says attach the tag, tab second actually move. You can take your mop pad. It has three pockets on both sides. It doesn't matter which side you hook on first as far as the mop pad is concerned, but you have to make sure you put these tabs on first, not the side that moves. So I just take it, I, I hook those three tabs right onto those three pockets, give it a little nudge, I make it nice and flat. I go to the other side. Now I bend it down and you can see those three tabs there and those three pockets. And that will allow you to hook on those extra three tabs, like so. Then you pop that back into place and you're good to go until you need to change that again. Another thing you need to know about your mop is that it folds itself flat. When it's on an angle and you lift it, it will fold itself flat. Same thing on the other side, it will fold itself flat. So when you're ready to put it in your bucket, you wanna make sure that it folds flat. Now, if you notice, one time it folded like this, where <clears throat> it did not get into the groove all the way. When you fold it flat, it must be completely flat like this. It can't be out of the groove, or else you're gonna run into problems when you pump it. So when you do fold it flat, just make sure that it's like that. Okay, now you put the water in the bucket. There'll be a fill line here. But basically, where it starts to get narrow inside your bucket in this area, that's where you want to fill it up to. Notice there's two chambers. Let me take this manual out for your reference. One of the chambers says wash, one of them says dry. You're going to put the water on the wash side only. The top of your lid says wash and dry. And we also put a little water side there. In case you make a mistake, see how this has an arch and it has cut out for the handle? If you make a mistake and put it the wrong way, it's not gonna go on properly because there's no spot for that arch to go into. So now, if you put the water side on the wet side, nice secure, take your two tabs, pop them in, you're ready to go. So you fill it, you put your, your top on, and you're ready to mop. Now, of course, when you're ready to use it and you have a dirty mop, you put it right into the wet side and you push it up and down. Obviously, when there's water in here, it weighs it down and you clean it. Try to go all the way in and all the way out. If you see that there's a little bit of dirt on top, not a problem. You can flip it around and clean the other side just like that. After you finish cleaning it, you want to dry it. You bring it back to the second chamber that says dry and you put it in the drying side. Push it up and down, you'll see all the water and debris go away. And you do that until the mop head is dry as you need it. If you want to, you can disassemble this and put it right into your bucket for easy storage, or just sometimes I leave it out like that and I'm ready to go. If you have any questions, our number's on our manual. Feel free to ask us any questions at any time, and we appreciate your business. Happy mopping.